Hey, you! Come out of there! <laughs> What the heck? There's only one of you? No. There are eight of us. You'll be fighting our newest member, the Eighth Fist, Valkyrie. The Sixth Fist, Hermit. And the Fourth Fist, Loki. I sincerely hope your men can handle it. Stupidity never ceases to amaze me! If you walk down there, Suji's gonna kill you! Ah! I've gotta go try to square things with him! What are you, nuts? You've seen him when he gets angry, you're no match for him! He's gonna kick your butt! Don't throw away the win you earned with that sneak attack! If you go down there, you're dead! I don't care what you say, I'm going! If I turn around right now, all I'm doing is running away from my problems like a coward would! Oh, I won it all right, kid. Really, really bad! What are you trying to do with those lame punches? Bring it on! Suji, you have something far greater than a hundred henchmen. It's a rare gift. Do you have any idea what it is? Friends you can trust. That's right. Two of them, in fact. Hey, Kenichi. What is it? That friend of yours, the boxer guy? I heard that Ragnarok's giving him a farewell beatdown soon. But when? I don't know the exact date, but Kassara will be there, along with the witness from the Eight Deadly Fists. One of the Eight Deadly Fists? Who? The Sixth Fist. The guy who's also known as Hermit. I'd watch out for him. He's bad news. See you around, kid. Did he say Hermit? Yeah, do you know anything about him, Nijima? Uh-huh. I saw him fight a whole gang. It was pretty intense. Only three of the Eight Fists fought, but they took down 50 men in like 30 seconds! <laughs> Master Koetsuji, hmm? I've decided starting today I want to begin training for the advanced techniques. Hmm. I don't know what happened, but that look in your eyes is completely different from the one this morning. So, shall we get started then? Yes. In any case, you need to be careful. Listen, a reliable source told me that Ragnarok's planning to punish you for walking out on them, and they're not gonna go easy on you. <sighs> yeah? So what? Come on, man, you've gotta take this seriously. This isn't some joke you can just laugh off. <clears throat> Doesn't matter how careful I am, there's no way to avoid it. <sighs> Kenichi, look! <sighs> What's that? Nijima's been passing these around the school. <clears throat> <laughs> nice shot. Uh, this is totally photoshopped! How many of these has he managed to hand out so far? Unfortunately, they're all over the place. What does that idiot think he's doing spreading stupid rumors like this? Extra, extra! <laughs> Get your newspaper! <laughs> you! Uh, uh, you ran away! Uh, come back here, you freak! Uh, Man, how the hell does that guy always get away? Woo, nice footwork. Anyway, try to keep a low profile for a while, okay? And here, take this. This is my cell phone number. If they corner you somewhere, give me a call and I'll be right over. Promise me, okay? Oh, it's like we're dating or something. Am I blushing? <laughs> you know, to tell you the truth, babe, I would much rather have your number on my speed dial. Will you focus? It's time. All right, now we shall undertake some real technique training. Yes, master! How about we start with some karate? Take a shot. Right! First off, you must deflect your opponent's attack downward. Then, using the same hand, you're gonna strike upwards of his chin with your wrist. This allows you to stop an opponent with only one hand. From here on, the odds are pretty good you're gonna find yourself fighting alone against more than one opponent at a time. 
If you have to use both hands to handle each of them, you'll never be able to deal with them all. Got that? And now it's Appetite's turn! I'm ready, Master. <laughs> Sorry if I kill you! I try and try, but you always end up dead after the lesson! Ah, bah, bah, bah. Someone save me! <laughs> this really is a dangerous move, so I'll take your place as a sparring He's partner. Gonna die. He's gonna... Now pay close attention. Let's go, Apachai! Ah! Reverse elbow. Whoa, close one. If that had been Kenichi, that would have snapped his neck in two like a chicken bone. <laughs> uh, reverse elbow? Yep, that's what it's called, kid. Yes, it's an extremely advanced technique. All right, now let me show you something as well. Okay, first, attack your opponent with a chop. When your opponent's open, you attack his side. <gasps> Twist the opponent's hand around, then strike his back and neck area while attacking with your knee. Then throw him, like so. Then if you can manage to pin him down using your leg, like so. Now, use your hand. To finish him off. It's a very useful combination attack that gives you four opportunities to deliver a finishing blow to your enemy, if it's executed properly. <laughs> I pity the guy who's on the receiving end! Ah, I've never seen Akisame so worked up. Now it's my turn. Oh, please, Master, I just don't think I can handle anymore. Please have mercy. <sighs> well, it's true that these techniques are usually considered rather advanced for a disciple of your skill level. Why don't Shigure and I hold off on our training till you've practiced what you've learned? As usual, left out again. The techniques that Master Sakaki and the others have shown me are too hard. I don't know if I can remember all the moves. I don't have the skill. You needn't worry. Skill doesn't matter. You just need to analyze each technique step by step. How does he do that mind reading thing? And we'll get things started by having you practice each of these moves a thousand times. No way! A thousand times? Akisame, you have a patient waiting for you at the clinic. Oh, yes, I forgot. Your friend Takeda is scheduled for another checkup with me this afternoon. <gasps> I might be a little while, so I'll just leave Kenichi in your capable hands. Is that okay with you fellas? Yep. You got it! Darn it! I told Takeda to keep a low profile. Everything looks okay. Yeah, it feels fine. So, Doc... Something's bothering you, isn't it? Uh, I haven't even said anything. There's no getting past this guy. Yeah... I've been thinking. I've worked so hard to heal and train my body, and in the end, it's all for nothing. Makes you wonder what the point of martial arts really is. There's a saying. Humans are born, then they die. Thus, is it better not to have been born at all? I used to wonder the same thing. But you have to ask yourself, what can I accomplish during that short period of life? I don't care if I ruin my body boxing. I have no regrets about that. But if Ragnarok cripples me... Don't go into a fight assuming that you'll lose. No one has ever escaped Ragnarok. Those guys are out to kill me. If you knew how dangerous they were, you wouldn't be acting so casual about it. Really? Come with me. There's something I think you should see. What's this place? Too slow! <laughs> Is he gonna be all right? How many times do I gotta tell you? You have to direct the oncoming blow downwards and then use the same move to strike at the opponent's chin. This is just the first technique. If you don't want to learn, we can just forget about it. Please continue, Master Sakaki. I have to master this technique as quickly as possible. Hmm. All right, now you're talking like a true disciple. Get up! Right! 
You see, he's chosen to undertake this severe training regimen to learn how to be able to protect you. Get up fast enough! Come on! Ah! Attack before your opponent! Come on, faster! Kenichi isn't like you, Takeda. He has absolutely no natural aptitude for the martial arts at all. But, also unlike you, he doesn't give up or give in. Please continue! All right. You see what I'm talking about? You're not as alone as you might think. And as long as Kenichi is willing to go the distance, don't you think you owe it to him to hang in there yourself? Before me, before me, come on! You know, he's an interesting guy, our young Kenichi. He comes off as cowardly, but then he'll surprise you by turning around and doing something amazingly brave. He seems as timid as a mouse, but then he'll suddenly turn around and take a stand. I've decided, starting today, I want to begin training for the advanced techniques. At first, I didn't know what to make of him, but now I think I've finally figured out what makes him tick. <laughs> and? Just what would that be? Well, simply put, Kanichi Shirahama... ...will do anything, dare anything, even risk his life to protect the lives of the people he cares about. Now I think you got it. <laughs> you mean I'm not dead? How'd I make it out alive? Oh, yeah, I thought so. He's completely delirious. <laughs> Why did you fold over a page of my favorite book? Here's a book, Ma. One more. <laughs> a hot spring? Miyu Shigure, how would you like me to watch your backs for you? Isn't that part of a loyal disciple's duty? <laughs> okay, enough's enough. <laughs> so, you back in the real world now, little man? Hey! Kenichi! Kenichi, Takeda's leaving. He asked me to tell you goodbye. What? I didn't even know he was here. Takeda, wait! Oh, hey, Kenichi. They finally given you a break? What? You mean you were watching me? Hey, next time you're planning to stop by, let me know or something. Actually, it was my idea to bring him here. Uh uh, I thought I told you to lay low for a little while. What are you doing here? You've got to be more careful. It couldn't be helped. He had an appointment for a physical at the bone clinic today. Yeah, I get it, but still. Wait a sec. What about my cell phone number? Have you programmed it into your speed dial like I asked you to? Uh, well... Come on! Okay, wise guy, hand it over now! Seriously, what the hell do I have to do to get you to start listening to me? Give me a break. Here, it's programmed and ready to go. Sweet! I'm finally on somebody's speed dial! Is this cool or what? <laughs> right, so if anything happens, remember to call me right away, got it? Promise me, will ya? Yeah, all right. Hey, thanks for everything, Kenichi. Bye. Watch your back and avoid any dark alleys! You're not as alone as you might think. And as long as Kenichi is willing to go the distance, don't you think you owe it to him to hang in there yourself? Way to go, kid! I didn't know you had a cell. Check mine out, it's the latest model. Man, that is cool! But I want to have a cell phone too! Buy me one, please! We don't have that kind of extra money right now. Now, now. Here, knock yourself out with this mobile phone. Want a trade? No way!
You can come out. I know someone's there. <laughs> well, it's Takeda. Ah, hey, gorgeous. Long time no see. The name's Kisara, you gutless traitor. What a loser. Come on, guys, let's get him. <laughs> Hold on. Let me handle it. Ugida. That's how it is. What's wrong? Are you gonna call your mommy to come and save you? I know I promised Kenichi, but I gotta do this on my own. You know what? You've been a weirdo for as long as I've known you. After a fight, I've seen you praise your opponent to comfort him. Hey, it was a good effort. Cheer up! And you'd chew me out if I fought unfairly. You had that guy beat from the start. There was no need to fight dirty. No, oh, sure. They like to call us the takedown trio. But deep down, you were a sportsman. And we were a couple of thugs. We had no code of honor. Man, how I hated your guts. Huh. <laughs> That's a shame. Because you know I never hated you for a single moment. <laughs> <laughs> As of right now, I, Ukida the Thrower, officially resigned from Ragnarok. So do any of you ladies got a problem with that? Uh, Ukida, thank you. What? Idiot. I'm not doing this for you. I want to go back and do real judo again, like I did before I was a useless delinquent. Of course, I'm sure you know that no one has ever left a gang. Yeah, 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 I know. No one has ever successfully left Ragnarok and managed to walk away whole. That was what you were gonna say, wasn't it? I know we'll take a pounding, but at least we can show them what we're made of. If I gotta go, I'm taking them with me. I'm afraid that I can't go along with your little plan. Say what? You shouldn't go into a fight assuming you'll lose. Bye, Akisane. Man. What is it with guys like you? Do you just live to piss other people off? <laughs> oh, male bonding. That is so touching. <sighs> Ukida, since you asked for it, I'm going to dish out your punishment for betraying us right now. Boys, get him! <laughs> Sweet, he actually called me. Uh, Hello! Uh, give Abatai money and he teach you how to kill! Abatai, give it! Funny, no one is entering. Uh -huh. Hand it over already! Hey, Takeda, is there something wrong? Is everything okay, man? <laughs> What's going on? I can't make anything out. Here. Uh -huh. Ah, I see. It would seem that your friend accidentally hit the speed dial function. It sounds like he's right in the middle of a big mob of people. It sounds to me like he's in the middle of a fight. Hello! Appa here! Shh! Appa! Takeda will kill you. Ukita, you are done for. Yes. I knew it! Hey! Appa says hello! Do you think he heard me? What the hell's your problem? Don't you see they're in trouble? Appa! Wait. We may be able to help him. Appa! Everyone hold still. I hear what sounds like a train passing by on an overpass in the background. You, bring me your student directory and a city map now. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to check possible routes he might have taken home from Rio's Anpaku and see if they intersect any train overpasses. Uh, that's brilliant, Kenzei. I'll get him right away. Oh, I get it now. 
Awesome! I didn't know you had it in ya! I didn't know I had it in me! What kind of idiot does he think I am? That hurts! <laughs> And the old lethal left. Ah, the puncher. And they called you that even when you were only using your right hand, didn't they? What a pity. Seems like such a shame to destroy a fighter like you. You know, I heard about you. I guess you expect me to congratulate you on your promotion, huh? <laughs> the Eighth Fist of Ragnarok. Kisara Nanjo. She's a formidable opponent, but I have no intention of being defeated. No way in hell. I know who he's up against. But not for long. I'll be seeing you and your buddy Takeda soon enough, and we'll settle things once and for all. Why? Why didn't he call me? Hang on, Takeda! your opponent. Who's this top-heavy bimbo? Get lost, you dairy cow. Who do you think you're talking to? Dairy cow? You asked for it. I won't cut you any slack if I see you get in my way. Get ready to fight! Dairy cow? Did you just call me a dairy cow? Ugh, now I'm really mad! You're gonna pay for that! Ugh! 